The crowd cheering there after 10 year old Jacoby Egloff, a Bolton Central School student with Down syndrome, made the buzzer beating basket. And Queensbury player Tice Boulder on the other team gave Jacoby the chance to score, passing him the ball, as you saw right there. It was a story that truly highlighted inclusion and inspired not just the region, but the country after it went viral on social media and then was featured on national television during ABC World News with anchor David Muir. And we are just so happy. I think we have a little bit more there. Look at this coming up first. Jacoby making the shot and right here tonight. Hi, David. Jacoby on his big moment. What did everyone do in the gym? They went nuts. And it happened because Jacoby Egloff was included with his peers and on this World Down Syndrome Day. We are so happy to have Janelle and Jacoby here. We've seen you a couple of times this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank it's you for having us. This is wonderful. Great to have you both. I know you made the long trip. Jacoby, you're a star. What did you think when you made that shot? What was going through your mind, Jacoby? Um, were you excited? What did you think? Were you did excited? you think you were going to make the shot? Yeah. You did. You had confidence. And then you were on World News. Your buddies are on national TV. What did you think about that? What was it think? amazing? It's amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> How much do you love playing sports with your friends? I love to play about sports about... What do you like playing with your friends? I like to play kickball with my friends. Kickball? But I know you also play basketball, as we saw in that shot. And he's also very involved with his community in so many ways. Janelle, share with me, if you would, what it was like for you in that moment when he made the shot. Well, it was so heartwarming, first of all. You know, we've played many games this season, and, you know, they, they give him the ball, and it's really nice to watch. And we saw the clock running down. And as soon as he made that, I was holding back tears the whole time. I can imagine. It was amazing. And so many people approached us afterwards and had wonderful things to say. It's been great. And then to get the chance to see it on national television. I can't believe it. What you said to David Muir mm -hmm. was that don't let anybody limit your child. That's correct. The sky is the limit. Tell That's me right. what you mean by that and the experience with Jacoby and what he's been able to accomplish. Well, ever since Jacoby was little, we've always included him in everything, just like we do our other two children. So we just want everybody to know that children with Down syndrome can do anything that anybody else can do. Um, we set our expectations high for him, yes. and we expect him to meet those expectations, and he always does. And he's just a wonderful little boy who brings so much joy to everyone. And he's been included in sports, but it goes way beyond that. Let's talk about that because it's not always the case that children with Down syndrome are included in the Correct. classroom. Mm -hmm. But Jacoby has been at Bolton Central been. School. Bolton Central School is an amazing school district. We'll show you some of the pictures here. He has been included since we enrolled him in pre-K. He's been with the same group of children. It's a small class. I think there's nine kids in his class right now. So right. they basically have grown up as siblings. Um, they have taught him so much about life and making friends and learning new things, but Jacoby has taught him them so much as well. They learn empathy and kindness and caring and inclusion, and it's a wonderful school district. We couldn't be happier. And what do you think it's like for the other children as well? Because so often, you know, the research shows it's not only great for those with special needs and particularly mm -hmm. Down syndrome, but for the typical kids too. Right, I believe that they've, they've learned so much from him. And when he was born, um, and I'm sure a lot of parents feel this way, is you're not sure what the future is gonna bring for them. You're not sure what life is gonna look like. Yeah. And Bolton has embraced every aspect of Jacoby and include, they include him in everything. He's in a regular ed classroom. He's learning what the other kids are learning. And how's and he able to do it, if, if you don't mind my asking? Yeah, I mean, so he modifications, has- modifications, right? Yeah, so he has um, a special education teacher, Miss Thompson, who is amazing. Yep. And um, she helps him with reading and writing. And um, Mrs. Foy helps him with his math. And then he has some aides that are with him. Mm -hmm. But they've also tried this year to have him a little more independent now that he's in the fifth grade. Yeah. So he goes to things like gym and lunch and different special classes by himself so Wonderful. he can learn how to be independent. Um, but they guide him through the day and help him 
you know, navigate things. Right. And, uh, and like you, you said, he's included in everything. I mean, he, he plays is. the trombone. So he plays he's the part trombone. Of the band. <laughs> he is. I know you guys run a special fundraiser too, which is amazing. We for do. The special Olympics. We do. There's so much to talk about. You're wearing these special shirts. Nothing mm -hmm. down about it because it's World Down Syndrome Day. Mm -hmm. and I know you're just spreading that message That's of correct. inclusion. Jacoby, one last thing here. What's your favorite thing about school? My favorite thing about school is um, having my um, teachers do anything. Anything with you, right? How about the friends? Pretty cool too, right? They're kind of nice. <laughs> I bet they are. <laughs> Jacoby and Janelle, thank you so much for thank coming in. Thank you very in. much. We're so excited to have you here and for the message that you're sharing with everybody thank you. at home. All right, we'll send it back to Ryan.